Action. What's going on everybody and welcome to our channel, That Flipping Family. This is a YouTube channel run by myself and my wife and our two wonderfully crazy children and two wonderfully wonderful dogs. And my name is Ryan and my wife is Miranda. She is in bed. She does not like putting in these long hours, <laughs> but she enjoys the shopping part of this whole thing, but not the listing, cleaning, packing. But it's alright, because I enjoy it all. It's, this has actually been life changing in just not even three weeks. And really looking forward to uh, expanding and continuing to grow and learn more and more. Yeah, so this is my first What's Sold video. I've actually sold 72 things already in less than three weeks. So I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't, I don't really know what to expect to, uh, for my numbers to continue to be, but I don't know. But yeah, so the first thing that sold were these uh, Yankee pumpkin pie um, wax melts. So we actually picked these up for 50 cents each. And we got a lot of them uh, from Walmart. And my wife, Miranda actually found these and they've been selling slowly but surely. This person paid uh, about 740 for two of them. So it's not huge profits, but Hey, profit's profit, right? Right, yeah. The next thing that sold was uh, this Jillian Michaels um, little set of three DVDs. I picked these up at Goodwill. Just I thought to myself, well, I'll just pick three of them and I'll sell them as a lot and see if, see if people like it. And this one sold. I was actually literally just about to make it four DVDs and this book, um, but they purchased this before I got to edit the listing. So now I'm gonna make another one. I actually found a brand new Jillian Michaels CD for 50 cents from Walmart and another one from Goodwill and then this uh, Biggest Loser Jillian Michaels book. And I'm gonna list that as another lot and sell that too. So number three that sold is this. This is a retail arbitrage. I bought these, I bought 15 of these. I only bought the ones that were not damaged at all even like the, the seal around them uh, for five dollars each they are the stranger things 2 only at target collector's edition bundle uh, i see them going anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars and i have mine listed at 15 and i accepted a best offer for 13 for this one you know i mean, i'm not making huge money here but i'm still making profit just giving me an opportunity to send them their item quickly and um, wrapped really well with thank you note and build up my uh, feedback so the next item that sold was this which is very cool to me this is like my favorite find so far these belts uh, this is the European Championship belt this is from 2001 I believe it doesn't matter but yeah so it sucks that it, they are actually selling because I like them and I wouldn't have been upset at all if they did not sell. But all of them are going to end up selling for sure, uh, just depending on the time. I'm having people message me on Facebook and uh, sending me offers all the time. And I'll come back to the belts in a minute. And then the last thing that sold just today uh, was this pair of black nike board shorts swim trunks uh so i actually posted this 30 minutes ago and it sold so went ahead and included that in this video works out and i makes me wonder if i posted it too low of a price but also i, I tried to be competitive with my prices right now just just to try to get things sold and get things moved out quickly so on to the next subject First of all, how's my uh, custom light box here? I made it with a cardboard box. But, so I have um, items here that they've sold. They sent me an offer and I accepted their offer like for these two belts. Like I accepted an offer for 25 and 12 and that was six days ago now. I accepted an offer for Mr. Herschel Walker here for $25. I had it listed for 35 and I bought probably probably 200 of these things for 15 bucks and I sold my dad four of them for 15 bucks so 
It's all profit, which is cool, but it's all profit if they pay. <laughs> um, I sold two more sets of candle wax melts that have not, they have not paid. I know this, the person that bought the pumpkin one, they'll pay because they sent me a message uh, thanking me for how quickly I got the other one sent to them. So my question to you guys is how long, how many items do you normally have that people don't pay for right away or it takes them forever or end up not paying at all? Because I know for these belts, I was past midnight. I was like, oh wait, no, it's today. But anyways, grind. <laughs> The belts, they, uh, where were they, what was I talking about? So yeah, so, so today, technically, is their last day to pay, and if they don't, I'm gonna relist it, but I just wonder, how often does that happen? Is it pretty often for you guys, or is it normal to have five things unpaid for? But yeah, so that's all I got for uh, this video. Um, some of my, definitely, my, some of my favorite things I've sold are these wrestling belts. I bought a lot of 10 of them from Goodwill for 30 bucks, and made pretty good money good pretty good profit on them. Um, I'm just trying to get more and more stuff listed I got just finally 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 got to a hundred active listings I decided to open up a basic eBay store and yeah I, <clears throat> my goal is just to try to keep it at 100 active and go through my death pile as I end up selling things so this is some of my death pile <laughs> it's actually been really fun to find this stuff and uh, build build it up uh, I'm learning a lot made some mistakes on offering discounted shipping like I sold one guy I sold him like four of these and I included one for free uh, I gave him a lot of them for 30 bucks and I made him pay three dollars in shipping and it ended and it ended up going to Oregon and it cost it ended up costing me like 15 bucks to ship it yeah so that sucked but it is what it is. I was already in the profit on that deal, but it still sucks to uh, lose that much of your profit.